G'day everybody and welcome back to Reactive Game with Chris and welcome back to the Sons of the Forest. Today we are going to be building a greenhouse. I say we because Mr. Matt has come and joined me and he's going to be giving me a bit of a hand today with doing some building, aren't you Matt? Yeah. <laughs> Alright dude, so first thing we need to do is get the floor down. Perfect. Which is the easy part. Um... I'm thinking we're going to do stone for the floor and walls on this one. So I'm going to sort of do like the one I've done in the past. Have you seen it? Remember the first A-frame build I did with James and yep, uh, yep. Bree and that? Yep. Cool. So similar sort of thing with the – it's going to be like open with the walls, um, kind of like the fence. So you go quarter up, lay across, quarter up, lay across, all that sort of stuff is sort of how we're going to be working it. What I don't know what I'm going to okay. be doing or how I'm going to be doing is the roof yet. So I'm, I'm working yep. on that. So whether I go right to the back and have a super, super big piss off um, roof coming down on, say, uh, like a 20 degree angle. Yep. So the rear would be basically too high, like two, um, oh, yeah. two grids high and then working okay. it way down or I'm going to split it in the middle with a wall in the middle with a doorway oh, going no, no. through to oh, a, yeah. another side. So two options, not quite sure which one I want to do yet, but first things first, we need to get the floor done. So floor. let's do that and we'll be back in a second. Okay. Alrighty, floor is finished. So now all we need to do is build up the walls. So I'll show you quickly, uh, Matt, what we're going to be doing, right? So just have one stone in your hand only. Otherwise you're going to be, yeah. So just go one and then across and then one, then across, then jump up. And I probably need a little bit of a stairs case, but yeah, that's basically what it's going to be like around the entire perimeter. But towards the middle, I'm thinking the middle or the back, I don't know. What do you reckon? Go down on a big angle or have it coming down in like a normal roof shape with a, with a pitch on the top. Um, I the first one. Yeah. What was the first one? Just a big angle coming down yeah. from the back. Yeah. Yeah, it, it would probably look better because you got this double wall essentially. Um, you could put a shit ton of plants on. It's going to look really good. Yep, I think so. Awesome. We're going to get this wall up. Back in a sec. All right, so the basic wall is done. So what we need now is a couple of logs because we're going to need to get some height. Uh, that's a split log. Oh, I should just spawn one in. Hang on. Oh, no, there is one. Cool. So the back wall is going to have to be about another complete, like, height like this one here. That's what we've got to do for this part. I think, I think two is going to be enough. We'll try two, and I'll do a bit of a... Um, I'll do a bit of a trial. Uh, it's going to be a pretty high roof. All right, once we've done this and we've tried it out, I'll be back in a sec. Alrighty, a bit of an update. Um, we still need to go higher to get that perfect sort of slope going. It's, um, yeah, <laughs> it's going to have to be pretty damn high. So I'm thinking so you want to basically progressively go down one quarter each way this probably would have been easier with wood oh probably not really actually yeah no it would have been well kind of the only thing is to get that angle what you're going to do is you got to get up to full height put a um support underneath it remove that stone remove the support and then it drops you know what I mean? That's the only yeah, yeah. difference in it. So when we do the roof, oh man, we're gonna have to do the same thing. But no, we won't. We could use wooden scaffolding for it, and then just the last little bit we use the stone for. Okay, so where are we now? I think you might be at the right height there, if not one more. Yeah. Yeah. Almost there. 
I'm just trying to get the logistics. That's all. Just trying to figure this out. How are we going to get this dropper? This is going to be one hell of a wall, man. I'll tell you what, Trump would be proud of this wall. <laughs> we'll get him the ring. It was that? We'll get him the ring. We can be his new contractors to build it. Yeah. <laughs> this is uh, this is something else. Okay. Let's get this right. We'll be back in a minute. Alrighty, we are done. Managed to get that perfect angle, which was a little bit trickier than I thought it was going to be, but we got it. We got it. So now, Matt, we got to do the exact same thing all the way across. All right. So what we need to do is get some scaffolding up. That's probably not the right height. And this part's going to be actually the easier part. We just... Once we know we got the angle, it's pretty simple. Lego. There's lots of scaffolding involved. We could actually just do it out of timber. It would be a lot easier. Uh, but it won't, you, look, it won't look as good, though. That's the thing. But we just got to get that scaffolding at the right height. And we'll get everything going... It shouldn't be too hard. Shouldn't be too hard. All right, we'll be back once we get the scaffolding done. We got this roof sort of finished, and we'll see how we go. Alrighty, the roof is done. All I got to do now is put the wiring in and the light bulbs. Take the scaffolding down. Put the planks on. Then the roof will be done. But this took a fair while. But we got there. This is going to be the craziest roof I reckon I've ever done. Hundred percent. Look at it. That's the weirdest looking building too. <laughs> it's ugly. It's going to look really good when it's all done. That's for sure. Oh, man. It's huge. That's like three grids high. All sloping down. Never done one like this. That's for sure. This one's way more complicated than the last one we did. All these bloody rocks in the way. Everything's in the way. All right, let's get the wiring in. We gotta get the solar panels in. This thing's gonna take a shit ton of power, I reckon. All right, let's run these across. I'll be back once we get all the scaffolding, everything down. Okay, every single light is on. Now all we gotta do is get the planks on. For that, oh, let me get rid of these logs. Too much rubble going on around here. Okay, I need some planks. Thanks, planks. That'll do. So for this one, we're going to keep it wide, not wide open, but I'm going to do something like what I did on that roof by the pool. So for that, I need to make sure we get it just right. There we go. And there we just go up one. Ah, this is going to take a bit of time, this one. All right, we'll be back very shortly once I finish this roof bit, because this is going to take a while. Okay, roof and lights are done. Now for the most tedious part of the whole thing is removing the scaffolding. That will take a fair chunk of time because I'm going to have to use structured debug on most of it. But it does look pretty damn cool. And the pool from the other video. Loving that. But yeah, this thing is like crazy. Can't wait to finish it. It's going to look phenomenal. Let's turn the day on real quick. Yeah, let's go. 8 a.m. Oh, that's bright. Eight a.m. She's looking pretty hectic. That's gonna be the biggest greenhouse I reckon ever ever that anyone's ever done. Now that I said that, someone's gonna to try to beat me. And then I'll have to make one even bigger again. <laughs> 
All right, let's finally finish this thing off. Let's get the scaffolding down. Then we're going to start looking at placements, where we're going to put plants and all that sort of stuff. That's going to be the fun part. All right, back in a minute. All right, we are officially done with the greenhouse. Look at that. <laughs> it's so big. Oh dear, what have I got myself into? I got to fill this thing. All right, let's do it. So what I'm thinking about doing is when a need is, we need to make like I did on the previous one. I think I'm just going to do it like this. Okay, like that. That way you can still walk around. We'll get that coming up to the door. This side as well. You're still going to be able to walk around. Yeah. So we're going to need to put solar panels all under these ones. I'm going to fill these in like that. And we're going to do that all the way back until we get to about here. Then we're going to raise up or should we just do one wall of plants? Eh, then you can't get to it. All right, we're going to do... Yeah, let's finish this part off first. I'll be back once I finish this bit. All righty. Now, these will be the planters where the planters sit into. Now, I know they look a bit funny at the moment, but just wait for it. You're going to love this when it comes nighttime. So what the plan is, I've got the planters at the back up here. It's just a bit of a platform. So I'm going to have uh, plants going up here as well. And uh, I don't know if I should have lights coming off there. Anyway, the plan is, hear me out, because this one, I think everyone's going to like. So the trick is, let's get this wired up quickly. All we require is some light bulbs, which are going to have to go in underneath, underneath these pillars here. One solar panel is going to be buried underneath. Which ones do I need to... Oh, you know what I didn't think about? How am I going to get into those ones? How? How am I going to do it? Oh, I'm going to have to tear the wall down. <sighs> okay, that's all right. We'll do that after... Uh, you know what? I'm just going to tear it down now. That way I can get into it. Okay, so what I want to do, because this could take a little while, is I'm going to jump back once we have all the plan all the um, solar panels and everything put in, all the lights put in, and the planters put in. Once that's all done, we are getting very, very close to the end. And I think everyone's going to love this. It's going to look awesome. This was completely winged. I had a bit of an idea. But, um, yeah, this turned out probably a little bit better than I thought it was going to. This is the only thing I hate about working with stone. It's just such a pain in the ass to break it down. I wish you could take it down as quickly as you could lay it. And that would be cool. Alright, I'll be back in a second. Alrighty. They are all done. So all I have to do now is probably just fill them and do this top part here, which is going to be Really, really challenging, actually. Didn't think of this at the time. Although, oh, I could put them up there, but I can't fill them. Unless I have some sort of scaffolding to get up there. Oh, dear. Why did I do this to myself? So I could put them at that level. Ah, too high. There we go. So I'll put them at that level. I won't need to make scaffolding. Awesome. 
These are going to be all blackberry along this wall because it bushes really nicely. So that's just how it's going to be. And we'll put that down to about that level. That'll be good. Alrighty. What I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly put up the rest of these planters, fill all these seeds, and fast forward the time by three days. That'll get me all my plants grown. And then you guys and girls will be able to see exactly what it looks like when it's finished. All right, back in a sec. Alrighty. We are done. Let's hope these plants are all grown. I haven't seen it yet, so... Oh, that looks so good. That looks absolutely wicked. Oh, that's so cool. This one turned out way better than the last one. Oh, I can't wait to see it at night time. These came up really good. Ah, oh, no, I missed two. Oh, well, too late now. So, which ones do we have here? Ah, cool. Yeah, these came up really, really good. Love that wall. Okay, well, I think all we need to do now is... Show it in the night time. Boom. So the reason I put the lights underneath all these ones is because it shines through and it comes through really nice. I don't know if you could tell on your screen, but on mine, they look really good. Just that little bit of extra light that comes through just makes it look so much better. Oh, that's a weird... Okay, I thought it was an aloe vera with something else coming through it at the time. And of course the rain comes, but they need watering anyway, so that's good. Damn rain. Stop that. The rain just makes that extra bit of shine and it really takes away from what it looks like. But yeah, that's the greenhouse. Oh, hopefully everyone likes it. This, ha this has taken me four hours to build. Four hours. And what do we get? A nearly 20 minute video. <laughs> oh, who cares? I love this thing. This is why I do it. Oh, that's so good. I love it. I love it. Alrighty, if everyone liked the video, if you could just give it a thumbs up, that would be fantastic. And if you could please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below, that would be awesome. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.